We're trying to find those sorts of jobs that you kind of vaguely think that some humans do, mm -hmm. but you don't know anybody who does them. Like Andrik's dad, who's an undertaker. You know, those sorts of jobs that nobody in the school goes, yeah, I think I will be one of those. And we've got Freya in the studio today. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, good morning. So Freya is a model in various ways and an artist, but you're a hand model. That's right. I do hand modeling too. Okay, so the one rule I will make for this interview, and I'm very strict about this because we are a public broadcaster and we cannot break any guidelines and laws about appropriateness, is please do not combine the words hand and job anywhere in your answers about what you do in your hand work as a model. Cool. So now we can continue with the interview. So how, how did you get into this? Did somebody walk around in a restaurant and stare at your hands and go, wow, those are beautiful hands. We want, we want those hands for our photographs. Well, no, I don't know. I'm not so sure if anybody can make a living out of hand modeling alone or oh, okay. modeling mm -hmm. or something. But there is actually an agency in Paris that um, does body part modeling. So I've, mm. I've actually was, wasn't with them specifically because I had my own model agency and then with them. But um, I do... All also feet modeling and nose modeling and lip modeling and ear modeling and eye modeling. <laughs> so we do like for makeup or lips or lipstick or something like that. Okay. So nail polish for nails or product placement or holding. How does lip modeling work? Do you very awkwardly stand in a room and pout? Pout. Just <laughs> no. You just smile, maybe teeth, maybe it's for toothpaste or okay. toothbrush. And then I, I just want to know, does it take a lot of time and a lot of money for you to take care of your body? Because obviously now your hands and your feet need to be well looked after as for your, your lips and your ears. So how much time and money do you spend That's on actually, looking good? That's a good question because I'm actually very low maintenance. I never ever <laughs> like do my nails. I'm like pretty much lucky that my nails grow so mm -hmm. healthily and I think... I've been blessed with good genes, I guess. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you, Mom. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Sound like an apartment block. I'm low maintenance, actually. It's completely fine. Pretty much. So what does a beautiful hand look like? Because I think most of us know in the modeling world, because we look at adverts and things, what a conventional idea of beauty is. But then I see, you know, a cell phone advert with somebody holding um, out their hand, holding a phone, or I see a... Uh, I'm the official hand for Samsung. Wow, that's and so Nivea cool. And Nivea International Cream. What? You must have such an adept <laughs> hand. So, so... What does a beautiful hand look like? Because I can't tell when I look at hands, oh, cool, that's a nice hand, but is it dainty? Is it clean? Is it thin? What right. is it? That is actually a good question because I think hands are more open to being different shapes and sizes, mm -hmm. whereas feet, for example, I did shoals and they told me, we've searched the world for feet like yours. So mm. I'm the official shoals model as well. <laughs> You're feet, doing well. Feet and hand model, which... Excuse the pun, they go hand in hand. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, but, um, so feet have to be like the bigger toe, the highest, and then they go down gradually. Yeah, because some people toe have, can't be the longest toe. Because lots of people have that. That's right, mm. yeah. But it's a big thing. Like, it's quite rare, apparently. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. mm. And then hands, what are, so, so, so hands can look a variety I of different think ways. I so, because hands are more like a fingerprint, you know, it's unique. And, okay. Yeah. And do you have to do like hand exercises, like keep it? No, fixed? actually, funny enough, I'm I'm a ballerina as well. I, I danced for many years, so I was always on point, and I'm surprised it didn't damage my feet. And the same thing okay. goes for I'm an artist, firstly and foremost. Mm. So I paint these large canvases of mm. contemporary figurative paintings, mm -hmm. and I'm always like with a paintbrush in my my hand. And my mm. uncle's a famous artist in Paris, and his hands are completely destroyed from like holding the paintbrush. Yeah, so I'm veins wondering, and things. I should, yeah. And also like um, arthritis and stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering when's my hand gonna be <laughs> <laughs> But largely you just look after them and go on with your daily life. Yeah, pretty much. I'm Do you have any I'm tips? Lucky I'm not saying that everyone wants to be a, a hand model or a feet model, but any beauty tips of how um, us normal people can just take care of our hands and feet? I think just cream is good mm -hmm. and just keeping nails clean all the time. But um, I think for them to grow, keep them out of water and soap. Oh, and really? Then, so don't okay. wash yeah. dishes, basically. Pretty much. <laughs> Quite spoiled that way. My mom spoiled me. She said, no, 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 you do hand modeling, so you can't damage your hands. I'll wash the dishes for you. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into a track, and then we'll get back with Freya. Capital K, A1 Wolf, Buffalo Soldier. The song is called Your Way. 
You're listening to the Hype on Good FM. We're sitting with Freya, who is an international model and artist. Uh, apparently, your modeling's part time, and yet you are also the official hand for like some of the most famous cell phone brands in the world. So I don't really understand that. I don't but, think yeah. I'm ever gonna look at that product the same way. I'm gonna be like, I met that hand <laughs> or that feet. Now. You know? Yeah. I know who that is. I mean, I actually use um, the shaving cream that there must be advertised Nivea. with your hand. Yeah, and I and I mean. I think they'll use the Samsung galaxies and things and it's all right. you but that's that's what I find so interesting so so when you do those sorts of shoots no one can recognize that it's you in the way that you can recognize that it's Gigi Hadid because you see her face right. um, so those are big brands so they pay pretty well for the day and everything. okay but generally I if it's smaller jobs I turn them down because like I said if you, you don't get featured money mm-hmm. if you have uh, like your face on it then if it's a TV ad for the whole day, you get your day fee and then you get your featured money on mm. top of that. Because people know that it's you and so it's of greater value to them, I guess. Right, exactly. So earlier you said that uh, being a hand model, it's nice. Like there's minimal work that goes into your hands except being born with the right genes. <laughs> um, but you also said that there's not that much money in it. And you are also an artist. How do you, how do you juggle those things to right. make them both worthwhile? Well, um, actually how I got into modeling firstly was I was approached by a few agencies and then I worked and then I followed a booker around, Andrea, who actually opened up what I believe is the best agency in Cape Town now. In such a short time, DNA has managed to become the best agency in Cape Town, but I credit nice. Daniel and Andrea. They're amazing. Shout out Probably to them. The <laughs> nicest people I've ever met. In the modeling um, industry. Yeah, but I special. actually stopped modeling for a while. And mm. then um, she actually said, Fry, you're going to hate me, but I've booked into a fashion show. And then I started <laughs> again. So I stopped for two years because I'm an artist and I've always done my art as like, mm. I've studied art. I did a postgrad mm-hmm. in fine arts. Okay. That's amazing. So, yeah, so I've exhibited, I've done the Venice Biennale and uh, exhibited at um, wow. a few galleries. Like I don't even Indian. know all these foreign words. <laughs> they must I want to know, something. are any of your body parts insured? Because like you said, you do the lips, <laughs> you do the nose, you do the ears, the hands, the feet. No, I haven't gone that far. I'm uh, not, uh, come on. The super, I'm not the superstar yet. <laughs> but like you must take on insurance on certain bits, right? Surely, no, surely. No, definitely not. <laughs> no, but come on, like you're going out with somebody when they hold your hands you're in danger when you kiss them you're in love danger <laughs> I love danger <laughs> but then it would be so awkward if, if if you know significant other like messes up your hands and then you're like I'm sorry you owe me 50 grand actually but I was are opening up a canvas that had just arrived and I took a scalpel knife and I Ouch. cut my finger open so but luckily the scar is minimal and- <laughs> so it's fine <laughs> so yeah. Freya just in case someone is sitting in their office listening to this interview saying oh, I would much rather be a hand model than do whatever I'm currently doing do you have any tips and advice um, don't quit your day job <laughs> okay. like me I'm an artist and that's what I'll do and then it's part time pocket money if you want to okay that makes sense Freya thank you so much thank you very much thanks for for having me on the show explaining to me what a hand model is I hope that helps (laughs) I wish I had that life that'd be so cool have a beautiful day